bought some pencils for a group of students. If he gives them two pencils each, he will have ten pencils left. If he gives them three pencils each, he will have none left. How many um, students are in the group? Well, here's how I solved it. I drew, well, first I tried five children. Of course, that didn't work, because I wouldn't have, and then I gave them two pencils each, basically. Mm -hmm. Of course, that wouldn't work, because if I gave them three pencils each, that's not ten, ten of those last pencils. So then I, so then I arranged my little dots here, and tried another five kids. And gave them two pencils. So if I gave all the kids another pencil, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I took that away, I would have ten pencils left. So there are ten kids in a group. That's really, really good. It's really, really good. Did anybody solve this a different way? No? Okay. So we've got the dot way, and then we have the listing, the two, two, twos, and the threes, like Caleb described. 